This past fall, when I was on tour with my band, I visited every gaming and hobby shop I could find, and when they let me, I filmed it. There are so many amazing, independently owned shops all across America, and I want the rest of the world to see them. They each have their own personality and serve their local community in their own unique way. Unfortunately, due to current events, none of them are open right now for you to walk into. But at the end of this episode, we'll show you how you can support each one. Hopefully one day soon you can enjoy them in person, but at least for now you can enjoy them virtually. Welcome to On Tour with Dragons. In this episode, we'll be visiting Common Ground Games in Dallas, Texas, which is way more than a store. What I picked up right away was the sense of community that ran between the owners, the employees, and the customers. I sat down with as many people as I could that day. Right now, they're selling online and offering contactless delivery in the Dallas area. At the end of this episode, we'll show you how you can support Common Ground or a store that's local to you. My name is Jason Charles Miller. I've performed in front of audiences all over the world and collaborated with some of music's biggest stars. I've also been the voice of hundreds of characters in video games and cartoons, but before I did any of that, I played Dungeons and Dragons. While I travel across the country playing music, I'm stopping by some of the most epic gaming shops I can find and asking people what D&D means to them. This is On Tour with Dragons. Games! Games! If you're a gamer and you see that sign, that's all you need to know. You're going in. I'm standing out in front of Common Ground Games here in Dallas, Texas. Let's go inside and see what kind of games they got. Okay, I'm here with Jameson Sachs, Curtis Glenn, Kim Davis. Waffles. That's me. Just waffles. Just waffles. Okay. Tell me a little bit about the inspiration for opening the store. You should do what you love because you can become good at anything. And sitting down, I realized the only time I really enjoyed going to work, where I got up every morning and wanted to go to work, is when I managed and ran and worked at Comic and Game Store. Let's talk about working at Common Ground. Sure. This place is awesome. Tell me a little bit about working here. You're the manager of the store. I am so. the store manager. It was a nice change of pace to switch to small business because you carry a lot more of the weight. Mm -hmm. you're, you're dependent on a lot more. And uh, I've come a long way from just sitting around sorting magic cards. <laughs> mm -hmm. You were the first DM here, basically, to run a game. Yes, when 5th edition came out, I was really excited about it and I had done a few things with Adventurers League in the past. We have recently created our own company that does uh, Adventurers League at various cons within the DFW area. We do charity work for Extra Life, which is raises money for uh, children's hospitals as well as the North Texas Food Bank. It's a great charity. I organize the, the Dungeons and Dragons community specifically. What have been some of the challenges with that or the rewards? Um, challenges, challenges definitely is making sure that we have the table space here at the store, that we have the dungeon masters to run the games. But on the weekend, we try and mix it up. We try and offer games at different times throughout the day based on who enjoys waking up early, who wants to play the late night Saturday game, that kind of thing. We have D&D &D every night of the week now. We have sign up tables during the weekend, campaigns during the rest of the week. And it's just kind of crazy. We have two people who have to basically keep that all organized so that it's run smoothly. <laughs> now that we've been operating for a while, we can offer that next level of gameplay. We are writing our own modules for, for conventions. We try and make sure we have 3D terrain for any of those special modules that we've written. Um, you know, truly give the player a unique, better experience than they would normally just have by themselves at home. Is there anything about playing D&D that you've applied to your everyday life? I actually do on a regular basis everything. Um, I think there's a lot to be said about the amount of creativity and, and being comfortable talking to people through, even if it's through the guise of like your character or whatever. I have found a way to actually merge that process of storytelling and, and conveying information and um, 
teaching other people things into what to do with D&D by telling stories, writing adventures, teaching people how to play. And sort of setting goals and being able to, to set milestones for yourself. And being, doing it in D&D is really easy because there's a lot of structure there, and, uh, but being able to translate that back to your own life. So tell me a little bit about your nonprofit and the website. Absolutely. So uh, we are Monkey Mind Tabletop. You can find us on Facebook just at that name, um, on Instagram at Monkey Mind Tabletop, or just the website MonkeyMindTabletop.com. We are a nonprofit. We're filing for a charity status. All of the games, all of the stuff that we do, goes into bettering the game for the players, and then after that, everything goes to charities. We're super inclusive. Uh, I'm, I'm gay, my stuff, you know, I have a husband, we open store together. Most of our staff is identifies in one way or the other, uh, but like most, we have probably one of the largest populations of uh, people who identify as gay, bisexual, transsexual, and stuff like that, playing D&D here. It's with great. No problems. Like, yeah, you know, like we, it, everybody knows you come here, that is not a problem. You don't, if, if there's ever a problem, you talk to us and we will take care of it. Like this is an inclusive place. It's part of what our name is, Common Ground Games. Right. You know, it's a common ground for everybody. You know, it doesn't matter who you are or where you are in your gaming journey. This this is a place to come and play. That's awesome. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. So that was Common Ground Games in Dallas, Texas. Now we're in nearby Arlington, Texas at Diamond Gyms where I'm gonna play a show tonight. So glad you could come with us today, and we'll see you down the road on tour with dragons. To support Common Ground, check out the links on screen and below. Many game stores across the country are offering curbside pickup or online orders. If you don't live in the Dallas area and want to find a local gaming shop near you, check out the Wizards Play Network store locator below and ask how you can offer your support.